Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can extract and find the hiring manager based on a job description at scale using a mix of artificial intelligence and common sense. And this could take you as quick as five minutes after you actually learn how to do this manually. So essentially what we're going to do first of all is we're going to import a sample file. So in this case over here, I've provided you with a file. You should see it linked underneath the video wherever you're watching it. And all we need is basically the link to the open role. Uh, we need the hiring company uh, domain and then also just the job description, right? As soon as that happens, we're going to take the following four steps that you can see on the screen right now. So we will first try and find information about hiring stakeholders based on the job description. So what we'll start by doing is we'll basically copy and paste this prompt, which will basically get AI to visit the website and extract any information about the hiring manager. So the way that we'll do this is after we've imported all the jobs inside of Clay, we'll click on add enrichment in the top right hand corner. At that moment in time, we'll type in the word Clayagent. And over here, as soon as we select Clayagent, we can then copy and paste the prompt. And we will basically fill in the X with a website. So voila, here we are. And at that moment in time, we can basically save and run all 50 rows. Now, at that moment in time, you should start seeing that the rows start getting populated with some high level information about the hiring stakeholders. In the meantime, I'm just going to rename the column. So I'm going to say step one, identify all hiring stakeholders. You can see I've just done that. And if it's unable to identify any hiring stakeholders, it will say unsure. However, if it identifies the stakeholders, it should give us some high level summary saying like, hey, the, like the job description mentions these three people, they work at this company, they have these job titles. Uh, so that's the information we'll be waiting for AI to generate right now in the background. Now, a couple of minutes later, we can see that the results have populated on inside of the column here. So for example, if we click at this role over here for East Side Company, we can see over here it says, hey, the job indicates that the role reports to the CEO, Jason Stokes. Um, and then it just basically mentions Jason Stokes here. And then in some other roles as well, I'm sure there will be, so for example, here it talks about Matei, the CEO of the company as well. And you get the idea, like in a lot of the job, um, in a lot of these responses, they basically come up with the actual name of the person who is on the hiring committee for the role. So anyone that was mentioned inside of the job description. So of course, at this moment in time, you can read it for yourself and you can you know, do it manually like you did 10 years ago, or you can just trust AI automation to take it a step further. So as the next step, what I recommend is refreshing uh, the Google Docs. And over here, the next thing we'll do is we'll break down um, the, all the names of, of the hiring stakeholders to identify like one specific stakeholder mentioned in the job description. So once again, that's a quick, easy copy and paste win for you. All you have to do is copy and paste the prompt from the Google Docs. You'll go back inside of uh, Clay. You'll click on add enrichment in the top right corner. You can then type in chat GPT. And at that moment in time, you will click on generate text and copy and paste the prompt that we just talked about here. Now, all you need to do is feed it the input and the input is the result of step one over here. So I'm just going to select the input to be the response. And basically what we're doing here is we're trying to pull the name of just one person. So for example, we just want this dude who was the CEO of this company uh, to pop up. So now we're going to basically say um, that, yeah, we're just basically going to try and extract the name of just one hiring decision maker. And to spare us the credits, we can scroll down and this is like proper advanced stuff. So um, do pay attention to it. You can click on use AI in the formulas and say only run if and then if step one does not contain unsure and just for clarity unsure is the response that uh, basically we prompted AI in the last response to say unsure where he was not able to find any hiring stakeholders and this way we will basically make sure that we only run rows that we know that there is hiring manager mentioned in step one so that's what I'm going to do here and We'll click generate formula. So you should then give you like an example of like, hey, this job will run, this job wouldn't run, all that stuff. Uh, we'll basically save and run all 50 rows because, you know, we're bold like that. Um, in the background, I'm going to rename the step just to make sure that I don't forget what it is. So it will be step two. And you can see already straight away instantly populates the names of people. So here we know Jason Stokes is the hiring manager. This guy uh, the, over here, we have Cassia Lemma. We have Coralie. Um, and basically a bunch of other names over here as well. So in the background, I'm just going to rename the column impressed just yet. Then, um, 
hold on and wait until the next step. So next step is how we're going to actually find that person's LinkedIn profile or you know, whatever email address at the end of the day. So in order for us to actually do this properly, we have two main options. The first option is we can find contacts using Apollo and that's inbuilt inside of Clayse. All we will do is we'll click on add enrichment. We'll type in Apollo. And so over here, we can basically find people at company by job title. And instead of the job title, I mean, we'll probably have to scroll down. And I mean, th this is one way that we could potentially do it, but we don't really have the job title details or anything of that sort for that specific person. So that could work in some cases, but 99% of the time, it probably wouldn't be the best option to go for. Now, secondly, you also have the option of just typing in find people. And once again, this will be covered in a separate module in its own. So I don't want to spend too much time on this. Um, and you can click on find contacts at company, save results in this table and scroll down to where it says names. I think it should be one of the bottom results Yeah, over here. And we can basically select the name of the person from the output in step two. So if we just select the name here, it should then try and find people with that specific name and we can identify them to work at this specific company, which is the company domain from over here. Now, what we're going to do in this case is once again, we're going to try and save clay credits. So we'll click on use AI at the bottom and we will say only run if that response in step one does not contain unsure. And we will then click on generate formula. At that moment in time, we should see that it will only basically run if straight away we found the name of the person here. So we'll continue to add fields and then we'll basically save and run all the 50 rows. Now, right now, what you're going to see here is this, it would not give us that many people they found. And that's my best guess. It probably wouldn't give us any hiring managers and it would look quite depressing. But the reason that I'm showing you this is to show you a better solution afterwards. So don't worry for the time being. So essentially no profile file found in a lot of cases here. So like Jason Stokes, who was the CEO that we're not able to find and some other people was quite hard to find as well. So here's what we'll do instead, right? Which is going to basically help us a lot. I will label this to be step three A and step three A for context will be finding contacts using Apollo or native clay integration for finding people. This is not going to work. So we'll try the second option, which I'll call option B. And let me explain it right now. If you think about the easiest ways to find the LinkedIn profiles of these people and the contact details of these people, it will be just by Googling them manually, right? So I guess if you want to find these people and do some research on them, you would Google them, right? So in this specific part of the video, I'm going to show you how we can Google for those people and how we can then extract their LinkedIn profiles all, and we can do all of this in one step. So here is how we're going to, going to go about it. So essentially we'll click on add and written in the top right hand corner. After that, we'll type in Google and it should come up with Google search. So Google search and you have two options. You can find an enriched person from a Google search, which will cost you two credits, or you can do just a normal Google perform search thing. Uh, for the time being, I'll do the find the enriched person because I think this will give us a higher like match rate. And if you want to basically do all, of, like, don't worry about all of these actions from this video, by the way, because none of them will cost you any clay credits if you watch the module on saving clay credits, which is uh, once again, going to save you a lot of money and get you the ROI for the course. So over here, we're going to click on find an enriched person from Google search. At that moment in time, you have the search query and the search query is what you would otherwise Google manually, right? So in this case, I'm basically going to go back to the Google docs and I'm going to refresh my memory. In this case, what we want to basically put in the query here is first name, last name, and the source to be linked in. So all we're going to do is basically click on slash full name. And where is the full name? I think it's over here. So yeah, the full name here and the source to be linkedin.com. So what we're trying to do is find the LinkedIn profile of a person with this name. And on top of that, we can even add the company domain so that let's say it could mention the company domain as well. So this will give us a higher match rate because anyone that works at this company with this name, with a LinkedIn profile, the chances are you'll probably have the right kind of person that you see here. And we will say here, only run if, and then if we scroll down, we should be able to see if this does not contain unsure once again. So here we are, we'll click on generate formula. We should see that it's running the right columns, continue to add fields, save, save and run 50 rows. Now my best bet is right now, this will give us a higher match rate and it should attract the exact LinkedIn profiles of people 
that we can then enrich and we can find their email addresses and so on. So I don't, like once again, you can see for yourself here, for all the jobs where you basically found the name of the person, in this case, it found my Tay's profile, it found my arms, Adams, Octavius, and it's a match rate of, I don't know, like 10, 10, 12, 13 people here, out of 50, out of a sample size of 50, we will manage to find one in five, look, like one in five jobs, we, we managed to pin it down to a hiring stakeholder who we know is actively involved in the hiring process. Now, if that's not impressive, I don't know what is. So at this moment in time, you may ask, okay, that, that's great, but what information do I really need for these people? You already have all the LinkedIn information here. So you have their LinkedIn profile URL and everything of that sort. So you can basically add their LinkedIn URL as a column and I'll just call it LinkedIn URL and then create the column. And straight away, you have two options, right? The first option is you can just type in find email and there will be a separate module which teaches you how to find the email address of the people. That's a lot simpler. So that's the first option of what you can do or you can push them straight into HeyReach. And inside of HeyReach, you can add them to a campaign. And the reason you would basically do that is because you already have their LinkedIn URL and that's the only thing that you really need to launch any sort of automation at them. Uh, alternatively, you can also then notify your sales reps. So that could be like another cool flow that I know I've built for clients before, but it's probably beyond the scope of the course. So I'm not going to flex and show it off here just yet. But in the meantime, I'm going to leave a link to this table wherever you're watching this video underneath. It will also appear in the Google Docs here. So all I want you to do is basically download this data file here and try to follow along this video step by step so you are able to get to the same app. In a side note, if you want to get access to all the templates, all the sample data, all of our good stuff that I mentioned throughout this video, by all means, go check out Unlock Clay for Recruiters, which teaches you how to implement Clay for your staffing or recruitment agency in under three hours. And it's a super quick course. It teaches you everything that you need to know for client finding and candidate placement side of things. It only costs 200 pounds, comes, comes back with a 30 day money back guarantee in case if you don't love it within 29 days, you can exchange this course, or you can basically get a full refund on the course. And more than that, in case of you were wondering where to get job data from over 10 different job boards all at the same time, it's super simple. You need to get it inside of timify.com. So go get an account with timify. All you need to do is then go click on the job lists inside of the job lists. You would just basically have a button to push all of that data into clay with one simple click. So if you're interested in those two, I'll make sure to link them underneath the video. Other than that, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel, comment something nice down below. If you want me to upload more videos for recruiters or for staffing agencies, let me know. Over and out, have a good one. And remember to go to unlockclay.com slash recruiters to really make my day. Cheers. See you on the inside.